Hey, everybody. Welcome to How To Tuesday. And today we're brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee. You can join the coffee club by going to blackriflecoffee.com and you enter the code BLASTOFF25. You can get 25% off on the coffee club. You get awesome stuff. That's what I do every time. It keeps me fueled up and ready to go to test all these knots like what we're going to do today. Uh, many of you have sent me this particular video by Odyssey Offshore on Instagram. <clears throat> and Odyssey Offshore has a nice uh, Instagram page. And he, um, or they, or she, or whoever it is, has a video about fluorocarbon. And quite a few of you have sent me this video. I appreciate that. It's really cool. And uh, what he's saying on this video is that he's noticed that when you stress fluorocarbon close to its breaking strength, but don't break it, and then you go down, put, the, put it back out again, you lose the fish. And so what it, it led him to try uh, several tests of pulling fluorocarbon until it, almost the breaking strength and then letting it relax and then pulling it again and seeing that it is breaking at a fraction of its its sticker test, okay? So a lot of people have asked, oh, and he also goes into uh, testing monofilament over and over and over again, and monofilament retains its strength. Fluorocarbon loses this strength according to Odyssey Offshore. So people have asked, well, what do you think about that? Is that true? Is that not true? What, what about it? So um, I said... Well, I have no idea. Let's let's test it. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. And the way that we're going to test this is we have fluorocarbon right on a spool like this. And I have tied a bimini in the end. This is 12-pound fluorocarbon. I have a scale right here. And we're going to pull on this until it's close to 12 pounds. I can see the scale and I can see this with a bimini in here. So close to 12 pounds then we're going to take it off the scale. We're going to let it relax as if you caught a fish, tough fight. Then you're going to put it back down and try to catch another fish. What is the breaking strength on the second try? That's what we're testing here. So hopefully we will um, come up with some sort of result. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, maybe maybe Odyssey Offshore is onto something. I don't know. His point is that not that fluorocarbon isn't good even if this happens, fluorocarbon has a lot of characteristics that make it better than monofilament. It has the same light refractive capabilities as water. So what that means is it doesn't shine in water. You can see fluorocarbon underwater sometimes uh, or, or see a comparison between fluorocarbon and monofilament. The monofilament will, will catch the light and have a shine all the way through it. It makes it very, very visible in certain light conditions, even if it's very thin monofilament. Fluorocarbon has the same light refractive capabilities as water. So what that means is there's not the shine. It will shine just as water does. So therefore, it is more camouflage, I guess. You could, and so you could use slightly larger fluorocarbon than you could monofilament and still get away with it because there's not as much shine there. But what this gentleman is is pointing out is that maybe if you straight if you if you pull on this line really hard and then let it relax, and then pull on it again, that is going to lose a significant amount of its strength. So what he's saying is he still likes fluorocarbon, but he's going, when, when you have a big fight, you catch a really good fish, and you want to put it down again, he's going to change out his leader, retie, okay? So that's probably a wise move anyway um, to, to retie. Of course, sometimes when the bite's hot and heavy, it's hard to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test this 12-pound fluorocarbon, put it on the scale. The scale is zeroed, and I'm just going to wind some of this up here. And I've left it on the spool because we only have one knot to, to test here, uh, the, the bimini. So the bimini, you know, in theory, is going to double the line, and it's not going to lose any strength there. So I'm going to get this up to around 11 pounds, hopefully, and then we're going to let it relax and... Try again. So I'm going to pull on it now. Hopefully it won't break because of the bimini. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10. Okay, we'll leave it at 10. Okay, now I'm going to let it relax. So I pulled 10 pounds. Hopefully you can see that 10 pounds on the scale. I'm going to reset this. And if this gentleman is correct, it will break it far less than 10 pounds. So here we go again. So I've let it relax. We caught our fish. We're putting it back down. We get our bite and... There's 10, now I've even taken it to further, 10.5, 10.7, 11. Okay, let's let that relax. So, so far, I'm not finding the same thing that he is. Reset the scale, we've let this relax. We're gonna pull on it again. This time I'm gonna break it and just see where it breaks. 12. 13, let's stop there, 13.33. Okay, so 13.33, it still hasn't broken. We've pulled on it three times now towards uh, very, very close to the, the breaking strength on the label. I'm going to reset. This time I'm going to break it. And it breaks at 13.38, 13.38 pounds. So, what does that mean? First of all, it means that there would need to be more research done on on this before you made your before you made a, a, a determination of if if that's correct or not. Uh, this gentleman says that he's tested a number of things, a number of different brands of fluorocarbon, and they're all doing the same thing. In our test, we didn't find that. So, don't know. I'll, I can tell you this, that it is a good practice to retie, put a new leader on, retie after you have a, a big fight. So, let's say you catch a, a fish that fights really, really hard, like a grouper that's trying to pull you into a hole, and you're pulling really hard, and you get that fish up, it would be a good idea to retie that. That's just a good, that's just good practice. Is fluorocarbon losing 50% of its strength when you pull on it like that? Not according to this test. 12-pound monofilament, we were able to pull on it 13.38 pounds. We did that a number of times, and it did not lose any strength. Okay? So, I don't know. It's a good practice to retie, but I'm not finding the same thing that, that they did. If you find something different, text me, 305-930-7346. And uh, if you have other knots to test, that would be great. That's where you can reach me, and that's where you can, you can tell me if you have a different experience with the fluorocarbon. As of, as of now, with our test, fluorocarbon is just as strong after you pull on it once to maximum breaking strength, and then let it relax, and then pull on it again. That's what I found. All right, we'll see you next week.